Hi there, this is Zach with We Game Good, and welcome back to Let's Play Black Bay Asylum, home for the criminally insane. As per our last episode, we are beneath the church, and that's about all I know. They threw his key in the lake. Already found it. Already did all that, got all this stuff, I'm under a church, there's a moldy coffin, there's like a sarcophagus. William, Sir William Bloch. Guided by angels through the maze of life, yet he could not dodge the arrows of death. That sounds important. Well, we have a puzzle. I'm willing to bet there's going to be a poem that explains it. It's a version of a bidet. Another one. We have two of these things now. Sir Thor Nordstrom. Two-faced Thor made a deal with the devil. A life filled with riches and fame paved the way, the road to an early grave. coffin. Whoa! It appears we have us an electrified chamber. What is this up here? Very angry creature rising from the sea. You must have missed that part of the Bible. Pretty sure that's in there. Alright, what do we got over here? We got another one? Ah! Uh, okay, so who's this? Though fearless and brave, each night filled with music and wine, and early enter the spiral of sin. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Crossing the sea led by the stars, an explorer at heart. Okay. Uh, stars. So this one needs to... Bang! Each one's a poem specific to that one. Okay. This one is Two-Faced Devil, Rich's Grave. Two-Faced Devil, Rich's Grave. Two-Faced Devil, Rich's Grave. Well, it appears this, uh, the prize for winning that was a pile of corpses. I've always wanted one of those. Now what? Found a strange artifact. Okay. So I got a strange artifact. Hooray! Now what? What do I do with the strange artifact? Do you want the strange artifact? Who wants a strange artifact? I got a strange artifact. Who wants it? Can I put it here? Wait. Alright, I gotta look for a place to put a strange artifact. Light. It just like, it doesn't even look like a strange artifact. It just looks like a light. Nope. Can't use that there. Alright, so I grabbed the thing. I got the thing. Alright, I'm gonna go back upstairs. I hope that... Maybe there was a spot to use this thing that I didn't see previously. Hey. Whoa! Oh, why did that get? Why did that spook me? Oh, because I'm not used to it. Just I will save you. I like that for using an actual not ridiculous. Whoa! <laughs> I love that the the transition didn't get me as much. All right, I'm gonna try and look at this guy from over here. All right, maybe I can hit him with the ancient artifact. Okay. Yes. Yes, but I have a strange artifact. I need to know what to do with my strange artifact. What do I do with my strange artifact? 
I have an artifact and I want to do strange things with my strange artifact. Someone go to go wreck. Fast scan. I wonder if. Ah! Oh, I got a rusty pipe. Um. I have a rusty pipe now. I'll bet I can. I bet I can dig with it. All right, Wunderbar. What do we got? Oh, I'm on the other side of this thing. <laughs> cool. All right, the sleeping horror. One more puzzle down. And since neither the priest nor his replacement. You know, you know what? I, that, that, was a, that was a short part to that one, so we're just going to keep moving it on into Chapter 9. That was only less than 10 minutes. So, I don't know if I'm starting to figure the game out more, or some of these are becoming a little less ridiculous, but I kind of like that if, if I sit, especially on the, on the last one, I liked that because everything was right there. You read it, you thought about it, and you could come up with a solution. It wasn't just sort of walking around and then going, Oh, there's numbers written on the wall here that I didn't see earlier. That's not really a puzzle. That is a scavenger. Sorry. That's a scavenger hunt. I'm not a fan. So, alright. Chapter 9. And I'm not gonna lie, I am slightly embarrassed that I got spooked more by the transition to someone talking than I did by a giant monster jumping out. Worn out hamster. Hammer. Wow. Totally red worn out hamster. That. No. We're just gonna move along. Pretend that didn't happen. Alright, uh, planks of wood. Oh, we got a big ass. Alright. We have to start remembering geography here, so alright. Who boy. Dead body. Oh, he's broken. Looks like bite marks. Excellent. He's missing the better part of himself. Alright. Log of all the artifacts they found. Uh, at, some, uh, at some point, I'm gonna have to. Lots of random crap. Random crap, random crap, random crap, random crap. A <sighs> bunch of random, 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 random. Alright. They're saying random now, but there is no doubt in my mind that given a few minutes, I'm gonna need that little guide down there, and it's gonna tell me where I can find stuff that I need. Alright, hold on. Uh, you never know. It's hard to know where to go at a given time. All right, I'm trying to find like all the smaller places. Newly discovered artifacts waiting to be stored and forgotten. Oh, that's awful cynical of you, pal. Long, small metal frame with three or four legs, or resembling a camel stick, holding a crystal on top. That's what I have. I have one of those. Hi, little Griff. I can barely read the English language. I'm slightly skeptical given the vast amount of reading we have done thus far. However, I enjoy your attempt at self-deprecation. Oh boy. Dr. Wilkins. Oh shit. Uh, dear Doe, if you're reading this, I'm probably lying dead right in front of you in a pool of my own blood and shit. I think I know how to solve this door puzzle, but we can't be sure. Judging from these spiked walls, it's not very forgiving. Being followed by something, so I have to try in case it doesn't work. There are things you need to know, so I'm writing this to you so that you can end this madness once and for all. From what I've learned, I think this is the important part. From what I've learned, this temple was... From what I've learned, this temple was once a shrine of worship built by the ancient race in honor of their gods. However, after a long and bloody rebellion, the high priests managed to bind the gods in an eternal sleep, far beneath the earth, thus ending their relentless tyranny. This temple was then rebuilt to serve as a prison. The place was filled with traps and puzzles to ensure that only the high priests had access. They discovered that these gods, or beings, though seemingly immune to all kinds of weaponry, was sensitive to the energy emitted by the crystals growing near the subterranean lakes. So they fashioned weapons to harness these crystals, and though they would not kill the beings, they would temporarily weaken them. While weakened, a high priest with an exceptionally focused mind would sacrifice himself in what can loosely be translated into the Soul Guard. Alright? And thus forcing this being into a deep sleep far beneath the earth in a crystal-encased prison. Apparently this Soul Guard could be used to reverse the process, 
but due to the lack of knowledge of these beings, they could not be sure that this prison would hold them forever. So the soul guard and the temple was left standing in case they would ever awaken. That is what I could find out, and I hope it will help. Now for this first door. The inscription above loosely translates into the site of reflection or a site of mirrors. Hard to know exactly, however, I think some kind of translation stone or disc is required, but I have to try. In case I don't see you again, good luck, Dr. Wilkins. Oh boy. Alright. So that happened. Alright, we're heading back to the section off to the side here, because this is obviously... Right, so here's our excavation site underneath everything. Scary guy, Dr. Hansen's office. Alright. Excavations at 26. I've taken everything bad I've ever said about Dr. Hansen. This place is amazing. Yesterday we hit the jackpot. We drilled into what seemed to be an empty space. Two hours later we revealed a large chamber filled with artifacts and would you believe it, an organic specimen of one of the original ha inhabitants. The specimen was brought up to the asylum for further study. That would be my sharky squid dude. In the meantime, we have about a zillion artifacts to archive. Many of these are just simple tools and other mundane things from what I can tell. However, one object caught my eye. An odd-shaped disc with a large crystal at its center. The strangest thing is that when I picked it up, the crystal seemed to glow for a second. B-109. That thing's B-109. Yep. Alright, so... As predicted, gotta go back here. Yep, back, 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 back. Meep, 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 meep. Find B109. Alright. Gotta go back to here. B109 is going to be shelf 2. Right? Shelf 2. It's this one. Oh, got the storage disk. Oh, it goes 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I thought it would be a top down the way. Odd looking disk. Alright, so what I'm going to do is. So I'm going to run back to the other terrible area, throw the disc at the door, and assume that everything is going to work out great for everybody. Whoop. Back. Look at that. Hmm. Okay. Well. Well, now what? I wonder if it just means green light go. So we're going to try that sort of funny sideways looking thing. Uh, I don't see the funny sideways looking thing. If I don't see it, I don't think I see any of these things. Oh. Oh, look at that. Alright, so let's just see if it... I, I, I want to make sure it's facing the right way. Green light go. Wonder if it's one, two, three. So I think okay. Let's try like that. I think three and then a raccoon. That's what I'm gonna call these. Right? I think no, that's not it. That's not that's not it. I think this thing. And then where's my raccoon? Raccoon! Jeez. Okay. That thing. Hi. Which means it's gotta be green, red, yellow, but I don't know why. What's left? sure that that was what I did the first time, but okay, fair enough. Fair enough, friend of friends. Okay. Right. Teardrop. D. So I did. Alright. So teardrop goes that way, D goes that way. 
Triangle goes that way. Square goes that way. Pentagon goes that way. Hexagon is all of them. I believe this is an order. Looks like a one. Two. All right. So, right. One, two, three, four, five. Thanks, everybody. Whew. All right. So, I, uh, all right. I got that sort of. There's just stuff all over the place here. <sighs> I do like how this this made sort of an interesting transition. This made sort of a, this made a very interesting transition from like crazy asylum horror game into like really screwed up, uh, you know, almost vaguely religious mythological game. Like I'm really I think it's very cool. Oh! <laughs> oh, another one of these. Well, okay then. Let's start thinking of this in terms of one, two, three, four. Can we do that from there? Yes, we can. So we are going to say. So we're going to say arrowhead. Because it's like number of sides. So I'm going to say arrowhead. Uh, S. Arrowhead, S, butterfly, circle. Arrowhead, S, butterfly, circle. So that's going to be. Arrowhead, S, Butterfly, Circle. What did that do for me? Okay, so that's a start. That's a start. That's good. I don't know if... I don't know what that did, but I mean... Did that... Nope, didn't open my door yet, but alright. So now I gotta figure out this one. Five steps of the unholy star. The five steps of the unholy star. That's this thing. Because these are the five steps of the unholy star. But I don't know how to do that. Because this is some sort of. Right back. Nothing in here. <sighs> Did that, the five steps of the unholy star. Alright, let's let's just see what happens if I just sort of link it all like this. Shit! Alright, I brute forced that one. Hence the lack of... Whee! Upon completion. Alright. So! Door's open, moving on. Checkpoint! Hey! What's this? Oh, Jesus. Uh. Alright, I think we're gonna, we're gonna call this... We're gonna call this an episode. I'm gonna try and finish this chapter for the next one. And then I have a funny feeling 10 is gonna be a whole other bag of jacks. So, take care.